welcome everyone to the fourth video in our unit on linear algebra. In this video, we're going to look at some applications of the linear algebra techniques we've been developing. We'll start by using a toy problem. What is the shortest distance from a point to a line or hypersurface as a way to motivate the concept of least squares? Then we'll use least squares to explore data fitting via regression. We'll look at both linear fits and polynomial fits. Imagine we want to find the minimum distance between some point P at a hyperplane V, which is a subspace of some inner product space. We want to find the point X in the subspace V that has the smallest norm or distance between X and P of all possible vectors in V. We do this by minimizing the function D is the squared norm of X minus P over all X in V. Let's employ a technique called least squares. We'll start by illustrating this for a simple 1D example. In this case, the distance between a point and a line is given by D is equal to a x squared plus 2bx plus c. The minimum for this is x is equal to minus b over a. We could solve this instead by completing the square so that d is equal to a times x plus b over a quantity squared minus b squared over a squared plus c. Then we can just read off the minimal solution by setting x plus b over a equal to zero. We can generalize this now to n dimensions. Here, we want to minimize the function f is equal to the sum on i of the sum on j of kij xi xj plus bi xi, all of this plus c, over the vector x. In matrix form, this is written as f of x is equal to x transpose kx plus 2x transpose b plus c, where k is a symmetric matrix of coefficients, b is a constant vector, and c is a constant. Since this is a quadratic form, we can find its minimum by completing the square like we did before, which gives us f of x is equal to x minus x star transpose k x minus x star minus x star transpose k x star plus c. You can demonstrate that the unique minimizer to this is a solution to the linear equation kx equals b, or equivalently, x star is equal to k inverse b. Note that this only works when k is positive definite, which means k is a symmetric matrix and all of its pivots are positive. Let's go back to our example to implement this. We want to find a point x in the subspace V with the smallest value for D equals the squared norm of X minus P, which is equal to the squared norm of X minus twice the inner product of X with P plus the squared norm of P. Obviously, if P is in the subspace V, then the minimum distance is zero, which happens when X equals P. In general, this isn't the case. So to solve this, let's first write D in matrix form by expressing X equals the sum on I of AI times VI, where the VIs are a set of basis vectors for V. Let K be the matrix of inner products of basis vectors. Such matrices are called Gram matrices. Then the squared norm of X equals the sum on I and J of AI AJ times the inner product of VI with VJ, which is equal to the sum on I and J of AI AJ KIJ, which equals A transpose KA. The inner product of X with P is given by the sum on I of AI times the inner product of VI with P which equals A transpose B, where the ith component of B is equal to the inner product of VI with P. Combining this together, the squared norm D is equal to A transpose KA minus 2 A transpose B plus the squared norm of P. This can be minimized by solving the linear equation KA equals B, or A star equals K inverse B. The vector of closest approach, called the least squares solution, is x star equals the sum on i of a star i v i. Then the distance of closest approach is d min, which is equal to the square root of the squared norm of p minus b transpose a star. The Gram matrix is positive definite and can be written as K equals A transpose A, where A is the matrix of basis vectors of V. Then we can write B equals A transpose P, 
And the system we want to solve, Ka equals P, is A transpose A acting on A equals A transpose P. Then the minimal vector x star equals a a star, which is equal to a a transpose a inverse a transpose p, which we can calculate using standard methods. In general, if we have a system of equations ax equals b, then the least square solution is the vector x star that minimizes the squared norm of ax minus b. For Euclidean dot product, this is given by the solution to the normal equations, a transpose a x equals a transpose b, which is x star equals a transpose a inverse a transpose b. This has least squares error given by the squared norm of a x star minus b equals the squared norm of b minus b transpose a a transpose a inverse a transpose b. For general inner products, we can write the weighted squared norm of a vector v as v transpose c v, where c is a matrix of weight factors. The least squares solution solves the weighted normal equations a transpose c a x equals b by x star equals a transpose c a inverse a transpose c b. This has least squares error given by the square norm of b minus b transpose c a a transpose a inverse a transpose c b. This is used to solve many problems. One of the most useful is linear regression. Imagine we have a set of n data points, x1, y1 through xn, yn. We have some theory that predicts that there is a linear relationship between the x's and y's, given by y equals alpha x plus beta. x is an independent variable, and the error between the prediction and the ith measured data point is ei equals yi minus alpha xi plus beta. We can write this in matrix form as the error vector e equals y minus ab where E is the column vector whose entries are the error, Y is the measured outcomes, A is an n by 2 matrix where the ith row is 1xi, and B is the column vector of the coefficients alpha and beta. What we want to do is find a vector B that minimizes the squared norm of the error vector. This is the least squares solution to AB equals Y. For the Euclidean dot product, we have B star equals A transpose A inverse A transpose Y. And for a general inner product, then, we have B equals A transpose C A inverse A transpose C Y. In our 2D example, we can multiply out A transpose A, which gives the symmetric 2 by 2 matrix n, the sum on i of xi, the sum on i of xi, the sum on i of xi squared. If I divide out by n, then the off-diagonal terms are the average of the x positions, and the diagonals are 1 and the average of the x squareds. Likewise, a transpose y gives a vector n times the average of the y positions and n times the average of the product xi, yi. This gives a geometric interpretation of this process. This process can be easily extended to a general polynomial fit. y equals the sum from i equals 0 to k of beta i x to the i. Here I'm fitting the same data by a quadratic and then a cubic polynomial. The process is the same as before. We want to minimize the squared error. Only now the matrix A is an n by k plus 1 matrix where the ith row is given by 1, xi, xi squared, and so on through xi to the k. And b is now the column vector of coefficients beta 0 through beta k. The y vector is the same as before. The matrix A is called the Vandermond matrix, which is used for finding polynomial interpolations. If each data point has distinct x values, then the n plus 1 by n plus 1 Vandermond matrix which comes from a degree n polynomial, is non-singular, and the system Ay equals b has a solution. This means there is a unique fitting polynomial of degree less than or equal to n that passes through all of the data points. 
This is the linear algebra explanation of why n data points prescribes a degree n polynomial. If the number of points n and the degree of the polynomial k are not equal and n is greater than k, then we are looking to find a least square solution to ay equals b. We can solve this by using a qr decomposition of a. You can use Gram-Schmidt or a more numerically stable method, such as the householder method, to find the decomposition. Then the least squares solution y star is the solution to the linear equation ry equals q transpose b, which can be found through Gaussian elimination and back substitution. For example, here are some data points. We're minimizing the squared error for the coefficients alpha and beta. We find that the squared error is 0.99 and alpha equals 0.55 and beta equals 0 